DJ Pro just got better. <music> DJ Pro 5.3 is finally here and it blew my mind. I made a video about the downsides of DJ Pro. You can check that out right here. And I feel like algorithm heard me. Well, kind of. The program is still missing some things that I would love to see implemented, but I'm excited to see what DJ Pro has in store for us for the future. DJ Pro 5.3 makes significant updates to the program. They changed everything from the user interface to the library. There's an extensive list of updates in the release notes, and if you want to know what each and every one of them are, check out the link in the description. In this video, we're going to cover what I think are the coolest updates in this program. Let's get into it. Starting with what I would consider to be the biggest improvement, you can now select multiple parts of the stem to add an effect to. How you activate the effects for stems remains the same, but you can now choose multiple parts of the stem to add an effect to. This is really awesome because you can now affect an entire instrumental. This is going to lead to some really creative mixes. That's not where the stems effects end though. DJ Pro 5.3 now includes mute effects for stems. What that means is the program now adds an echo to the outgoing stem that you choose. Hallelujah! To activate it, all you have to do is click on the three curved lines in the Neural Mix menu. We've been driving around, singing so sweet, so sweet, so sweet. As if that wasn't enough, DJ Pro now has Neural Mix Pad Mode, but it's only available on certain controllers and mixers though, so keep that in mind. If you've ever used stems pads on Serato, you're going to feel right at home with this feature. It's almost 100% identical with the exception of the bottom row. In Serato, the bottom row has stems with effects built in already. In DJ Pro, you have to activate the mute effects in order to get an echo out on a stem. Instead of having effects in the bottom pads, you have the option to solo a stem. So, for example, if you wanted to solo your vocals, you would hit the eighth pad on your controller or mixer. Then the program will solo just the vocals of that track. DJ Pro 5.3 really raises the bar with a new feature they call Neural Mix Crossfaders. Now, each individual stem has a crossfader allowing you to seamlessly transition between stems during a mix. To activate it, all you have to do is click on Neural Mix at the top of the program. That'll open the Neural Mix menu where you're going to see two opposing arrows. Click on those arrows and now you'll see the four crossfaders for your stems. When you do that, four crossfaders pop up representing each stem. You can also choose if you want two, three, or four stems to separate. This feature is game changing and a huge leap for DJ Pro. The only issue I can see with it though is I don't know of many pieces of hardware that have four crossfaders that are just readily available to be mapped for this function. Whack. So in order to have hardware control over the Normix crossfaders, you're either going to have to get a secondary piece of equipment like a MIDI fighter, or you're going to have to sacrifice some inputs on your current controller or mixer. You can also still use the crossfader effects with the Neural Mix crossfaders. Algorithm really knocked it out of the park with this. The one thing I didn't like about DJ Pro is the lack of chronological cue points. And if I'm being honest, this update doesn't address that or fix it. However, we're inching closer to it. You can now drag and drop cue points to assign them to whatever pad you want. All you have to do is go to your cue point panel and in the top right corner, you're gonna see a little pencil. You click that pencil and grab handles will appear on each cue. From there, you can drag and drop cues to whatever pad you want. So although they're not chronological cues per se, you can now easily put your cues in chronological order. You can also do the same with saved loops. Who knows, maybe in DJ Pro 5.4 we'll finally get chronological cues. I don't know, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. There were also things I didn't like about how the library was handled in DJ Pro. There was never an option to center on the selected song like Serato has. This was really annoying. I swear Algorithm watched my video because now the program retains scroll position per playlist. So when you leave a playlist and come back, the playlist is going to be exactly where you left it. 
I also really didn't like that songs and playlists weren't numbered. I'm a wedding DJ and I need songs to be in a specific order at certain times. Without having tracks numbered, there was always room for error when it came to playlists. But alas, the tracks are now numbered and all you have to do to get your playlist in the correct order is click the little number sign. This update now includes support for the Pioneer DDJ GRV6, Groove 6, however you say it. A whole slew of audio enhancements, DVS fixes, updated mapping for certain hardware, and now you can use auto mix on an external controller or mixer in external mode. Now, I'm still a little salty that custom crate columns aren't a thing in DJ Pro yet. Why? Algorithm, if you're watching, please, for the love of God, give us custom crate columns. I know I can't be the only person asking for this. At the end of the day, this update is a major improvement to the program. I didn't get everything I wanted, but I can honestly say Algorithm did a really good job with this. The one thing I'm taking away from this update is that Algorithm actually listens to its users. They seem like they actually really care about what we want, and that doesn't often happen when it comes to software manufacturers. But viewers, I leave it up to you. What do you think of the new update? Is there anything that they didn't include that you really wanted? Leave it in the comments. As always, if you made it to the end of this video, I'd like to say thank you so much for watching. If you found anything valuable in the content, please subscribe to the channel. We have a bunch of videos going over the tech that we use as DJs with a lot more coming down the pipeline. My name is Seth, AKA DJ Seth V. This is DJ Tech Tips. Thank you for watching and we out.